The 1 0. Runner going a bouncing ball foul past third. One ball and a strike. I've heard players when the game gets late and it's starting to rain and the game really doesn't mean anything in the standings make remarks like, oh, don't rain. Don't rain out. Don't send us home in the seventh or sixth. One ball on a strike. Some of it's kidding and some of it's serious. And a one-one. Curve swung on a miss, one and two. And I've seen employees. You don't have to be a ball player. I've even seen employees here in the wintertime once in a while that not at any business. It looks like it's going to snow. They say, oh, don't snow about 2 o'clock in the afternoon because <laughs> then we'll have to go home early. <laughs> One ball, two strikes. When it snows in Atlanta, an inch boy, everybody closes shop. Swing and a miss by Jody Davis. Another strikeout, number nine. For Palmer. It's only one away from his season high. He struck out 10 way back on April 11th against the Houston Astros in Houston. And I don't think he won that game. He lost that one 2-1. to one. Yeah. David Palmer has been a very pleasant surprise. Braves had a chance to sign him. He could have gone anywhere he wanted. He's already reached his Major League high of 10 wins this year. He trails here 3-1. In the six, here's Say in the pitch. Swung on a bounce at a first. Horner gloves it, runs to the bag, and the six is over. They strand one on a walk. We go to the bottom of the six. Chicago three, Atlanta one. If your vehicle's battery isn't getting you off to the right start, here's big news. Delco introduces you to the more powerful DuraPower Freedom Battery. More powerful because it has up to 650 cold cranking amps. Lawrenceville Auto Electric has stocked the Delco DuraPower Freedom Battery in a variety of sizes and capacities. It's likely they have a Delco DuraPower Battery, the premium performer, to fit your car or truck. It never needs water. The staying power is sealed in it. Delco DuraPower Freedom Batteries at Lawrenceville Auto Electric. Your dealer for AC Delco. The Metro Atlanta Peugeot dealers are proud to sponsor Atlanta Braves baseball and introduce the new exciting lineup of 86 Peugeot Turbos. Score big with the European quality and race bread performance of the Peugeot Turbo. Backed by an incredible five-year, 50,000-mile factory warranty, no other European luxury sedan can compare with a fully equipped Peugeot Turbo. Starting at only fifteen nine plus customary taxes and destination charges. Visit Stone Mountain Ford Peugeot, Bob Hurst Mazda Peugeot, or Frank Jackson Lincoln Mercury Peugeot. Peugeot Turbo and the Atlanta Braves mean business. Burger chains are always trying to make their burgers less boring. Glow in the dark pickles. Uh, what do you think? What do you think? Fortunately, there's Taco Bell, where everything's already exciting, just the way it is. From our beefy burrito supreme to our generous Taco Bell grande and zesty pizzazz pizza. Next time you're sick of boring burgers. Burger on a roll. Come to Taco Bell. I had like a burger on a stick last year. It's the cure for the common meal. We're going to the bottom of the six. The rain really hurt the crowd here today. It's been raining this morning late. And I think we would have had 20 to 25,000. I don't believe we had that many. Maybe 18 to 20. But it really cut into the old-timers game and this game. We appreciate the fans coming out on a, on a very dismal day. Here's Bob Horner, who is two for two. Single left and single to right. They overshifted on him. And they do it again. Go ahead, Captain, if they want to give you that right side. Let's see what he does this trip. Here's a pitch to him. Curve in there on one. Braves with seven hits. The Cubs with two, but they lead by two. And they all on. Curve. Inside. Look like he's trying to jam him now and have him hit one at one of those infielders. Say, Spire, or Sandberg. Now the 1 1. Swung on line. Off the glove of the shortstop. Spire should have caught that ball. They might give him a hit, but he went to his left and it hit him in the glove. I mean, about chest high, maybe a little higher. He should have caught it. It was well hit, but they're going to give him a base hit. See if they play it back. This was a bullet. 
But Spire, oh, he had to jump a little bit. Maybe it was a bad, maybe it was an okay call. He had to jump a little bit, but it did hit him right in the glove. Corner three for three. Griffey over first, a line drive toward the corner. Corner's going to be at third. Griffey at second. Ken Griffey with his second hit. The Braves got the tying runs out there. Thomas the batter. Their bullpen becomes active. Back to back, hard hit base hits. One off the glove of Spire, and a double in the corner by Griffith. Davis, Ron Davis gets up and starts throwing. They got him from Minnesota. Deadman starts throwing for Atlanta. The pitcher is still four hitters away. Base hit here ties it. Griffey runs well. Eckersley with a pitch. A ball. Virgil's on deck. Here's a stretch. And a 1 0. Curve hung inside. 2 it all. The last time Eckersley pitched against the Braves, they got him out of there in the sixth inning. We're in the sixth again on the pitch. One on, two and one. Thomas is 0 for 2, hit into a double play and foul to first. The next pitch is driven to center field, but it's going to be caught. Corner tags. He'll score. Griffey to third, and he makes it. It's 3 to 2 on a well hit ball by Andre Thomas. Boy, he drove that ball right at Mumphrey. Give him a sack fly, and an RBI is 27th. And the Braves are back in it. It is 3-2. They get a chance to tie it right here. Virgil is the batter. Andres Thomas swings down at that baseball, and he comes up with some very hard hit line drive. Well, let's see. Infield up. One out, Virgil the batter. He is doubled and lined to center. He's hit the ball hard both times, although his double was a check swing. Last time up, he drove the ball to right center, caught by Mumphrey. The pitch swung on, popped him up, foul. Let's see, Durham have a play. He's over by the dugout, but it's out of play. And a youngster with a poncho on, got that ball, and he is beside himself. Looks like he's about 12 years old. He bounced along the aisle and grabbed that ball before one of the big guys got it. All in one. Virgil with a chance to knock in his 40-second run and tie this game. One out. Eckersley at the belt. Here's the pitch. Low. One ball and a strike. Hubbard's on deck. Now the 1-1. One, one. Low. 2-1. and one. Ackersley struggling here in the bottom of the six. Has given up two base hits and a hard hit sack fly. Every ball has been hit hard in this inning by the Braves. One out. And the 2 1. Swung on. A hit right field. A line drive. Sandberg could hardly move on it. A run in on a single right by Virgil. Another hard hit ball. That might be all for Dennis Eckersley. The Braves have tied it. I don't know whether Sandberg lost that. He couldn't move very far. I know it was well hit. I think the ball was just hit so hard by the time he reacted, it was already by him. Boy. Virgil, when he hits one, got a little steam to it. Now Hubbard. 
So David Palmer sees his teammates tie this game in the pitch. Hubbard takes a strike all at once. No move by Gene Michael. Although that's the third hit in the inning. And the fourth hard hit ball. Two runs in. Throw to first. Virgil back. Their pitchers do up second in the seventh inning. Here's the L1. One on line. Left field. Hit. First and second. Virgil's going to try for third as Matthews bobbled it. Nice base running by Virgil. Going to be an error. On Matthews allowing Virgil to make it to third. Give Hubbard a hit. On another line drive hit. Virgil saw Matthews bobble it, and then he headed for third and made it. Now the tiebreaker's at third for Palmer. He won't be 